One, two, three, go. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Shelly. And I'm Heidi. And we're from Gaijin Pot. And today we're doing our, our Halloween, Halloween special. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, oh, another combini comparison. What no. is it this week? It's not. It's not. It's actually a taste test of Starbucks. So this is this year's special Halloween drink. It's called the purple. <laughs> it's called the purple Halloween frappuccino, and it's made out of sweet purple potato with whipped cream. So for spring, it's sakura frappuccinos. For Christmas, it's peppermint frappuccinos, and. For Halloween, it's potato, purple sweet potato, which are a thing in Japan. So, just take it in and just go with it. Try it. Devour yourself in it. Next, we have a matcha frappuccino, but to make it Halloween themed, according to the website, we customized it with two things: first, chocolate syrup; next, chocolate chip. How this plays into the Halloween theme, we're not entirely sure, but that's what it said on the website. So that's what we got. I think it's supposed to be like a witch. Looks like it. Or a zombie. So the next one, Heidi. This is a tea drink, but the only twist that it said on the website was we would just add vanilla syrup. So it's passion fruit tea. Yep, and it with looks... vanilla syrup. So it's red. So it looks like blood. blood? But it's also very diluted because they put a lot of ice in it. So it's like icy blood. Yeah, that's nice right. Nice and cold, just like the vampires like.、Mm -hmm. I think we would know that. Oh no, they probably like a fresh and warm and gooey.、Uh, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last one is a also a passion, passion fruit, fruit tea. tea. It's a mango passion fruit tea frappuccino with. Whipped cream and citrus, citrus pulp. pulp. How this plays into the Halloween theme, we're not sure. And the color isn't very.、Uh... The color is pumpkin, but the flavor is not. not. Which is weird because they have pumpkin themed drinks and desserts. They actually had a pumpkin spice latte that we could have had instead, but it wasn't in the Halloween lineup, so we so didn't we, get we it. We can't. It's just we, we can't. Just can't. We only got.、No. The Halloween lineup. Exactly. So we have to stick with this mango passion fruit instead of pumpkin. Yeah. For our last、um, Halloween item from Starbucks of this year, it's the Giggle Giggle Raspberry Halloween Cake. I sometimes think they call it a Giggle Giggle because it makes you giggle just listening. Listening to it. The icing is dubious.、Um, I'm not entirely sure who did this. It looks like. It was done blindfolded. It's pretty much an expensive cake that, like, your seven-year-old niece or nephew tries to sell to you. That's right, and you buy it because you feel guilty, and they worked hard on it. We're using paper straws, not plastic. Not plastic. Very good, firm. Hopefully, it doesn't get super soggy Ugh, straight away. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Lady in the Tramp style. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yeah, no, but I really taste the po potato flavor.、What、it do doesn't taste、Shelly? like starchy like potato. No. Like sometimes I feel like you get like a really starchy. This is literally just the flavor is sweet potato. The flavor and the sweetness. Yeah, yeah, very. It's like more sweet than a sweet potato. And it's really creamy. Very creamy. It does have extra cream on top. Oh, that would explain. And probably、it. made with like milk. And lots of syrup. Lots、um, of by syrup. the way, we're not going to be sharing the amount of calories, just because it's Halloween. And so it doesn't matter. Yeah, tis the season. So I'm just gonna taste it one more time. And me too. Just anyone who likes sugar or like sweet tastes would probably like this. Yeah. Or if you like purple. I think if I got it again, I would share it. Yeah. yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Tis the season to share. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh my gosh, puns. Okay, I got one. 
<laughs> Which one would you want to drink next, Shelly? <laughs> Which one? Man, go first. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Mango passion fruit tea frappuccino. I know, I just don't get why they had to make it creamy. With cream and citrus pulp. pulp. And I think the citrus is yuzu. So yuzu is a famous Japanese citrus. I've never tried yuzu, so I can't say anything, but... Just... Cheers. That's refreshing. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mm. remind me of autumn at all. It's more of a summer. summer. I mean, I, I get bits of the yuzu. Like, I taste the tanginess. Maybe it's just, in the cream. I just have this thing when something is citrusy, I don't believe it should go with something creamy. I think it should stay juice you know or what? a tea. Like, pick one. Pick Japan a struggle. Japan has a really famous, I think it's like old school milk drink. It's called like lemon milk or something and it tastes really good because back in Australia we have lime milkshakes. Oh wow. Yeah, milkshakes. That sounds really good. Yeah, lime flavor and it's like it's like a refreshing milkshake and the lemon flavored milk tastes exactly the same as that. It's like a refreshing milk. But you drink that during the summer or all year round? When do you drink that? I don't drink milk actually. Oh, I would have this if my drink of choice at Starbucks wasn't available and I was in a silly, goofy mood, this would probably be my drink of choice. Yeah, so crazy. Let's switch things up a bit and try the snack. Oh, would you really? do the honors? You're really out there today. I know, you are crazy. crazy. <laughs> I'll cut it. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right. She cut it so well. Okay. Here we go. What's inside? I'm breaking it in half. Oh. Whoa. They see the gooey, raspberry goo. I guess it's supposed to represent blood. blood. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Cheers. Cheers. I keep doing that. <laughs> Blood. Ready? One, two, three. Quite dry. I tasted the raspberry first, but then the aftertaste is very chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. But I was just concentrating on the flakiness of this. Like, it's yeah, it not, is dry. I wanted to be like moist and like right. decadent, you know. And I just didn't get that. Not I got a very so. flaky chocolate cake. That. Yeah. How much was this one? How much was it? I get the receipt. <clears throat> was 264 yen. Okay, I think it's worth it for two. I think that's the cheapest thing you can get there, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Cheaper than a scone, for sure. Maybe it's not too bad for that price. Maybe if you heated it up, the moisture would come out. Matcha with chocolate sauce and chocolate chips. chips. So it's very... This could pass as a Halloween drink, right? Alongside the sweet potato yeah, one. Yeah, this one actually looks kind of gross. I mean like, no. Yeah, that's that's not gross. spooky. It looks spooky. Spooky. I feel like if they drew a witch's face in the inside of the cup, I don't know how they would do that, but I feel like it would be... Totally. They could just put a sticker on it. Actually, you're right. Like a stencil of some sort. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. You should just work for Hello. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't, be giving, I shouldn't be giving these ideas away for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, matcha. These milky drinks are very sweet. Yeah. I think if you like matcha or want to try matcha for the first time and you don't want that full matchiness. Yeah, or like the bittery taste that can sometimes come with matcha. Yeah, the chocolate definitely sweetens, yeah, sweetens it right it down. So whether or not that's an authentic matcha experience is totally up to you, but if you have it in Japan, hey. Next. Oh. Our final. <clears throat> Our 
<laughs> we imagine these all lined up next to each other, all colorful and exciting. And then they went ahead and just took all the fun away and put, put it, it in, in a, a cup. cup. Cheers. Oh. Did you taste anything? It tastes more like tea. <laughs> I was going to say it tastes, tastes like, like water. Tea. Really? I mean, it's definitely really watered down. Yeah. But again, we did leave it kind of out for with an the hour. Ice all kind of, we should have ordered it without ice, maybe. Yeah, that would have been smart, I think. Which, which is more refreshing to you, this one or the frappuccino? This one is not nowhere as sweet as the others. That's true. This one is very much. Tea. Okay, so let's rank it now. Which is your favorite? Should we bring them back? Should we go back to the order we had them? What was the order? We oh, had this, this one, one first. first. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. Okay. Are they all lined up nicely? Yeah. I think so. Final thoughts. Okay, so what did you think of the lineup as a whole? The lineup of as the the lineup as a whole definitely had nice variety. So I think if you're someone who wants something really creamy, it's definitely like these two. Mm -hmm. And if you want something a bit more refreshing, it's this one. Or this one. And yeah, and that one's like the most probably refreshing in terms of it doesn't have any like milkiness to it. Agree. And if mm. you don't like to drink your calories, okay. eat them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> My favorite was the mango passion fruit ice tea frappuccino with milk and, and citrus pulp. <sighs> That's one of those that drinks mouthful. like you ask like your boyfriend or someone to get. And they just just like roll everything. their eyes because they have to like say all of that. <laughs> I'm really starting to think they're trying to like make the look of like a pumpkin latte or a pumpkin frappuccino. If that's the case though, why didn't they just make a pumpkin frappuccino? Maybe they just forgot. Like they were like, what's Halloween? Oh, pumpkins are Halloween. Let's make a drink that looks like, like a, a pumpkin. pumpkin. But, <laughs> but then they forget actually, like yeah. a pumpkin is a flavor as well. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, oh, what's, what, what are orange fruits? And Mango. This is what they up with. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite would have to be the pastry. Oh. Yeah. Least favorite? Least favorite. It'd be this one. First, it doesn't come in a fancy cup. So, like, what's the point of going to Starbucks yeah, how if can you I can't show even show it off? Yeah. Like, it's like half the point. Yeah, like Starbucks. half the money is just to take a photo for Instagram, Instagram. or something. Look at our Starbucks. Yeah. Can you afford this? I got my lighting. So, um, yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, but it is Halloween weekend, so we hope you have a spooky Halloween weekend. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Was that a fun? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what was the fun? Halloween weekend. It's a Halloween plus weekend. It's a fun. Is, is, do you think Starbucks these days is more famous for the way it looks or the way it tastes? I think it's looks for sure. But I mean, you're going there for the logo. Ah, oh, true, the little... Like, you want to be like... Is that the Statue of Liberty? No, it's like a mermaid. I just thought it was... How could it be the Statue of Liberty, girl? Where's the thing? I Where's just... the torch? America. <laughs> I'm not what? American. <laughs> Booty the app. Hold on, let me. Oh, stop. Oh. What's the point of going to Starbucks yeah, how can if you I can't show even off? show it off? Yeah, like it's like half the point. Yeah, like Starbucks. half the money is just to take a photo for Instagram. 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 Oh, that's so cool.